I didn't think I found a broken rib here. <laughs> okay, Paul. Are we ready? Yes. We're rolling. Oh, we're rolling. rolling. Oh, we're very glad to be with you again today as part of the Science Information Network. We have a very special guest pair with us. We have Martha the marsupial here to see us. And this is her owner, trainer, mother, Bella, yes, all together caregiver, Margaret Sander. And uh, Margaret, this is a little bit unusual to um, have a possum as a, as a family pet. Could you tell us a little bit about how Martha came into your life? Well, I tell you, I didn't even know what she was when I first saw her. My daughter is an aspiring veterinarian and she works in the summertime for a vet. And she came home with this tiny little thing that hung from her thumb. And she said, look what I brought. And I said, what is it? And there was Martha, no longer than, well, half the size of my thumb. Uh, she looked like the pink panther, really, with a long prehensile tail. And um, I said, what is it? And it turned out to be a possum. And here we are. This is Martha two years later. Um, <laughs> Much larger than my thumb, possum. So you weren't the average mother who might have said, um, well, I think we could build a little cage outside in the backyard to no, Martha? No, no, uh, my daughter plays on my sympathies. She, she knows that I have a knack for nurturing and raising things that are half dead, orphaned, or otherwise uh, in trouble. And um, Martha just joined a long procession of birds and other orphaned and injured things that I've raised over the years. So uh, now I fed her with puppy formula and an eyedropper. Oh, well, tell us a little bit more about what uh, Martha eats on a daily basis. Well, Martha uh, is supposed to be an omnivore, but for an omnivore, she's a very, very, she's licking my neck. <laughs> she, she's a very, very fussy eater. And um, uh, at one point, in fact, she got rickets from a lack of calcium in her diet. And it was diagnosed as rickets because we contacted the animal vet down in uh, Gainesville uh, because the vet up here hadn't had very much experience with possums, and quite understandably. We had x-rays taken off her and her, there was a thinning of the bones. <laughs> and uh, I gave her a cal calcium supplement. Oh, so she's on medicine. And she was for a while, yes. But, but what does she eat, say, when she... Well, she doesn't get up in the morning. What? But she, she eats at night, at 10 o'clock, she's trained to, to, to eat at 10 o'clock. She sits on the door, on the mat, outside our French window, and she just makes herself obnoxious by uh, trying to chew on the door and, and looking in and walking up and down to we feed her. And I feed her basically a mixture of um, brown rice and chicken, which she likes. Now this is special possum rice and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we don't talk about possum rice because it sounds too much like a recipe. Um, it, it scares her. We oh, don't talk oh, about yeah. it. No. Right, I noticed we have, we have a banana here. Can well, I she's quite partial to bananas, yes, and grapes. I'm sorry we don't have any grapes. Yeah, the primate characteristic. That's good. right. I mean, Let's we have Martha. Oh, yeah, oh. see? I noticed Martha seems to be uh, pretty. Uh, Whoops. Pretty healthy right now. She is very, very healthy. She's two years old, uh, just about two years old. And um, we don't quite know how old she is, but I, my calculations are correct. She, she will be two years old next month, I think. She's in good shape, except for her tail. It's enormous. I think they might deposit all the extra fat at the base of their tail. And we try and keep that covered because it puts people off. Now, let's see, you mentioned Martha had her prehensile tail when she first appeared. Can she now hang on trees like uh, she's supposed to? No, I don't think they're supposed to. I, I have discovered that they re only use their tails if they want to keep themselves from falling off a place. I don't think they like hanging from tails and sleeping by the hour like that at all. I don't know, at least my experience with Martha has been, and I mean this tail by now is so fat that it is totally unusable for hanging from. Hey, have you ever tried? She, to she, she used to, when she was smaller, I let her climb around branches in the tree, but she would only hold, um, use it as a, an aid to keep from falling. She never hung from her tail, so to speak. And this is before she became a spoiled possum. How do your neighbors feel about your having a wild animal Oops. in the 
neighborhood. You, you live in a rather classy part of Jacksonville. Right here. Uh, <laughs> well, we keep it quiet, and we hose the porch down frequently in order not to lower the tone of the neighborhood. What, does Martha do things that would be obnoxious? Or? No, she's very, very, very quiet. She's the quietest pet I've ever had, and the most peaceful pet. She doesn't ask much, she doesn't do anything, she just sleeps all day and roams the porch at night. Oh, so she's kind of a guard possum? A guard possum, yeah. You could say, because people are scared of her. People think possums are vicious, which they are not. I mean, even uh, books I've read on possums, um, there are few books available, they don't even guard their territories. Possums share their dens with other possums, and um, they, they are totally, totally sweet. Well, since you speak a number of languages, I was, languages, I was kind of curious if Martha was able to understand more than uh, English, as, assuming she you know, is relating to what we're saying now. Well, I find that she is quite stupid, and she generally just responds to um, motherly noises. Uh, I am much more successful in calling her than my husband for the simple reason that my husband cannot elevate his voice to the desired pitch. <laughs> I mean, I go... Mother, 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 din, din. And she comes running, and my husband, mother, 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 din, din. And she stays in her basket, you see. <laughs> that, uh, um, what is Martha, what do you do with Martha if you have to go away? I mean, I'm assuming you can't We don't take go her away. We don't go, well, we would take her, I think. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'd have to. But we just don't go away. In the past, we have other pets. And in the past, we always found some nice little old lady that was crazy about animals and that gladly looked after them all. I'd come home to my turtles, they'd be polished with antique wax and they'd <laughs> look in fine shape. But people are just afraid of Martha? Yeah, they're scared. Possums have a terrible reputation. They're much maligned, these animals. They, I, I heard people talk about, uh, oh, they would bite their way through chicken wire to get at the chickens. I mean, of course, Martha doesn't have to do that since you. Well, cook I know the she doesn't. Be yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, I don't think she she would be capable of biting through chicken wire. She's got very very triangular little teeth, if you can see there. She's got a huge mouth. Not many teeth, are there? Yeah, they're that tiny. If you oh. care to feel them, I don't think she would bite. Well, they're little needle sharp teeth. I'll believe you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. See, I still have a little bit of a possum oh, here myself. Yeah, well, you see, when you raise one, you know, you, you lose all these natural fears. D does she eat any, does she take, do anything for you? I mean, you get this feeling, but does she eat roaches? Is there any positive aspects to No, she, I've never roaches? seen her eat roaches. Um, I don't think she does anything that is useful in that sense, no. No, she's purely decorative and a, a conversation piece. <laughs> yeah, well, we had quite a few conversations today. I, you brought her to school? So uh -huh. This is a college. I need to make it clear you see, we're, we're at a college here. Uh, the, the reason is that I have run into so much disbelief, and there was one particular biology teacher who did not believe me that I had a tame <laughs> possum running around the house. And um, yes, well, that's why I brought her. Show and tell type Show thing. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, uh, well, what's the average lifespan of a possum? Well, I've read contradicting reports. Uh, one book said about two, two and a half years, another said four and four and a half years. Uh, it remains to be seen. I hope she's not on her way out yet. Is Martha, she's never uh, shown any inclinations for other possums? Well, I don't know. Uh, she, she is in heat sometimes. I mean, she... How can you tell? Well, because she menstruates. Oh. And uh, you find little evidences of mm -hmm. that on her blanket or in her urine. And, um, but it, it's a very, very short thing. I think it's only a day or two. And she seems to be a bit restless at that time. But no, otherwise, you know, I thought these would be problems when she was little. Uh, but she has been a totally problemless pet. Now, I thought, of course, of setting her free once she was grown up. But she turned out to be so soppy. And so Switch is totally unfit for living in the wild, as you can see. So she hasn't had any of the typical animal shots or vaccines? No, the vet for some reason refused to, to vaccinate her. I don't know. I think there's a rule that you cannot treat wild animals or so. 
at one point uh, she was refused treatment just for uh, an abscess she had on her bottom by some stupid vet who shall remain nameless. But um, my husband sat in his surgery for an hour and when he was called and they said cat or dog and he said possum, they said we don't treat wild animals. And he had to cruise all over Jacksonville in order to find one that would treat this wild animal. I suppose many of our viewers are probably concerned about Martha's um, toilet Her training. toilet training, yeah. all right. Again, that didn't turn out to be a problem at all because uh, she lives on my screen in porch. She has a dog basket for the summer, a barrel in which she lives in the winter. She can come and go as she pleases, and when she wants to go, she goes right by the drain hole, which I then rinse or scoop, depending on the necessity. There we are. All Does very clean. Martha have any little toys or favorite things she likes? No, she does tear up the occasional plant. That oh. seems to give her a great joy. She chewed a branch off my rubber tree the other day, and that was dismaying to me, but very satisfying to her. Do you worry about her getting sick from some of the plants she might eat? No, I figured if she lived outdoors, she'd be exposed. I don't keep o oleander in tubs, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, How about music? I don't worry about it. Martha have any choice in music? Well, they say that they have very, very acute hearing, and I noticed that she um, responds to noises uh, very, very quickly. So I try not to expose her to anything really loud on the high pitch. Now we understand Martha's actually had a call to a show business that uh, David Letterman has been in communication. Yes, so, somebody, um, somebody uh, suggested that I should take her to the David Letterman show. Uh, of course, uh, somebody actually rang David Letterman and said, what do we have to do to get onto your show? And he said, well, does this possum do any tricks? And we <laughs> said, no, not really, but it eats grapes very noisily and with a lot of smacking and gurgling. And he said, well, if you can get her to do this on video three times in a row, we will take her. Uh, it would be very unusual. We've never had a pet possum on the show before. Uh, so my daughter got very excited about this and stardom looming for her and for Martha. But my husband said, oh no, it would be far too traumatic oh. to subject her to this. Well, Martha seems to be doing quite well today. So. Yes, she, she's Taking. doing all right, right? Martha, show them again how you eat a banana. Ah. It's too bad we haven't got any grapes because... Um, the smacking. Yes. Uh, do you know the poem by William Carlos Williams about the poor old woman eating plums? Ah, yes. She stands on the street corner with a paper bag full of plums and Carlos Williams says, they taste good to her, they taste good to her, they taste good to her. And that Martha always reminds me of that old woman when she goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> smacking. Of course, there isn't enough juice in a banana to do that. But there we are. Have you seen her pouch? Right. This, of course, is a, a live bear. It is Martha's pouch. You see? Oh, and her dear little feet. Look, oh. she has got little hind legs, like little hands, like monkeys, yeah. with a thumb. And the thumb doesn't have any nail on it. Oh, yeah. And the, oh, dear. Well, and, and the little, little hands here, mm -hmm. you see? The little star shaped little feet. Always looks like a fat lady's foot. Look that is squished into a shoe that is too small. But see, she's, she's quite sweet. I mean, I think she does believe I'm her mother. She likes to snuggle and she comes for protection. See, she's not quite unsure. Is she as close to the other family members? Well, she, will, uh, she loves to be petted by the hour. She will just sit there and hold still. She gets on well too with my dog and my cat. They're quite spooked by her. They think she's weird and they just leave her alone. There's never been any kind of confrontation. Well, of course, here at uh, Florida Community College, we're always looking for more students. And uh, <laughs> I went downstairs this morning to talk with the provost to see if we had any special programs for possums. But unfortunately, she told me we don't yet have that. Yeah, well, I, and I, I did review the catalog, and <laughs> there are no possum courses in there. But or, or possum training courses. Right. Well, there's always room to but expand. Now, you teach English as a second language, so That's perhaps right. possum <laughs> communication could 
I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best. Right. Well, we want to thank you and Martha for coming by today, and we hope that you're on your way to stardom, and we definitely will bring you some breaks soon. Okay, thank you very much. It was entirely our pleasure to be here. Thank you very much.